Father, I come before you today in need of your divine breakthroughs in my financial life. Lord, things are not going on well financially in my life. Everything seems to be falling apart. Thank you for being a good God always available for your children. I pray for breakthroughs in my business and finances. Your word in Matthew chapter 7 verses 7 to 8 tells me, keep on asking and you will receive whatever you are asking for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened unto you. For everyone who asks, receives. For everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Help me to have patience amidst the difficulties in my life. Release your divine breakthroughs into my life, Lord. I declare that from now onwards, I will excel financially in Jesus' name. My destiny helper shall locate me in Jesus' name. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Therefore, I am victorious in life. I will always be at the right place at the right time. No weapon fashioned against my financial breakthrough shall ever prosper in Jesus' name. I reject poverty, setbacks, failure, and bad luck in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, please silence any evildoer against my breakthroughs. I destroy every plan of the wicked to stop my breakthroughs from coming into existence. I declare that the hand of the Almighty God is upon me. Therefore, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. I am blessed in Jesus' name. Father Lord, please let your will and promises for my life come to fulfillment. Micah chapter 2 verse 13 tells me, He who opens the breach goes before them. They break through and pass the gate, going out by it. Their king passes on before them, the Lord at their heads. It is good to always pray into your finances because money is a very important asset in our society today. When you are not financially stable, you sometimes end up doing things through foul means, doubting God, and also feeling that God has disappointed you. That is what the enemy wants, but God doesn't want that. He is the father of all riches. And so, as his children, we are automatically rich and equipped with all the resources we need. The Bible tells us in Haggai chapter 2, verse 8, that the silver is mine, the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. God is only waiting for you to ask Him, and He will do it because divine prosperity comes from Him, not forgetting that He has already given it to us. All you have to do is claim it with faith. Heavenly Father, I thank you for being so good to me. I thank you for your love and blessings you have showered upon my life. Gracious God, I put my finances into your hands. I pray that you take total control over my finances. Proverbs 10 verse 22 says that your blessings bring wealth without painful toil. Let your blessings rain upon my finances, Lord. You are my financial support, and I have confidence in you that I will succeed in everything I do. Your word said in 3 John chapter 2 that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. Your word has made me understand that prosperity and good health are my portion as a child of God and I claim it upon my life. 
God of miracles, I know you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all I ask or think of, and I know you have already done it for me. Let your will be done in my life. I thank you and I bless you for an answered prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.